Hello, my name is Cheryl Meyer, and I am Cheryl M. Health Views, and I'm doing a series of stress busters for the holiday season. And I'm one behind since I went away for the weekend, so today I am going to do Stress Buster 10 and Stress Buster 11. And they kind of go together a little bit. At least you can use Stress Buster 10 to improve yourself for Stress Buster 11. So what is Stress Buster 10? It's to breathe. Now, I know in the first video, we talked about the Andrew Weil breathing exercise to lower your stress. So if you haven't watched that video, go back and take a look at it because keeping your stress low in general is an important thing for you to do every day. But now we're talking about the pattern of breathing period. And there are all kinds of benefits to taking deeper breaths instead of shallow breaths. And because we've become so busy with our days and our hours doing the work and just trying to get stuff done, we've become a society of shallow breathers. So every hour on the hour, I want you to get up and I want you to take 10 deep breaths. And I want you to breathe from your belly. I don't want you to breathe just from your chest. I want you to feel your belly go in and out as you take 10 deep breaths. Now, what's this going to do for you? Well, the first obvious one is, of course, it will release your stress. But it does a lot of other things for you, too. Every hour, if you do this, it will increase your energy. It will make your mind clear so that you can do whatever you're working on. It improves your respiratory system. Of course, it calms your nervous system, which is important. It strengthens your lymphatic system. Now, that one's important because your heart has its own motor, but your lymph system does not. So by taking 10 deep breaths every hour, you'll help your lymph system, which goes around all your little cells and picks up the garbage that they put out for the trash. Your lymph system will grab those, and it helps the lymph system get all those toxins out of your body. 10 deep breaths every hour. What else does it do? It will release muscle tension. It will give you a better digestive system, which is important because as you probably all have heard me say, poor digestion leads to leaky gut, which leads to inflammation, which leads to chronic disease. What else does it do if you breathe every hour on the hour? It will improve your mental state and probably lift it and make you feel better about whatever's going on. It will help you stay youthful because it gets oxygen to your skin. So, whoa, that's a big bonus. Instead of trying to put some great skin cream on your face, let your breathing improve your skin. So those are all the things that it will do. It improves your mental state, it improves your heart, it improves your stress level, and it, it allows your lymph system to work properly. There are so many benefits. So try setting your alarm or setting your watch or setting your phone every hour on the hour. Stand up and take 10 deep breaths and put your hands on your belly and watch it expand and contract as you take these deep breaths and see how it makes you feel as you go through your day. Okay, so that's stress buster number 10. So let's go to stress buster number 11. Stress buster number 11 is all the way through the season. And frankly, every night, you need a really good night's sleep. And what do I mean by that? I mean that you need seven full hours of sleep. There's a new book out by a team at Berkeley that thinks that getting seven hours of sleep is even more important to your long-term health than controlling your stress level. Now, I'm not telling you not to control your stress level because we all know how important that is, but I didn't realize just how important sleep was. And that seventh hour is when your brain sweeps out all that plaque that could cause dementia. So you want to make sure that you're getting that full seven hours of sleep or eight if you can manage it, but at least a good seven hours of sleep every night because it's really important. One of the things you can do 
to get a better night's sleep is to breathe before you lay down. So that's where a stress 11 and stress 12 or 10 and 11 fit together. This is stress buster number 11. Sorry about that. So what can you do to do that? Avoid sleep medications. If you take sleep medications, you might be sleeping, but you're not getting to the right REM pattern in your sleep. So you're not really getting healthy sleep that will keep your brain healthy and your body functional. You want to eat a low carb, low sugar, high fat, high alkaline diet. How do you do that? You eat lots of vegetables. And I'm a big proponent of eating all the colors of the rainbow, organic from a farm as close to you as possible, which means you're automatically eating an alkaline diet and drink lemon water, which also becomes alkaline in your body. Get on a regular schedule. So if you go to bed every night at 11 o'clock, then stay in bed and you fall asleep right away, stay in bed till six. And that way you're getting your full seven hours of sleep. Take an Epsom salt bath at night. I do that every single night. The magnesium in the Epsom salts relaxes the body. I put just a touch of argon oil, which keeps my skin wonderful. And I put a little bit of lavender in my bath every night, which also calms the body and allows you to get a great night's sleep. Move the clock. The last thing you want to be doing is looking at the clock every 10 minutes, worrying about the fact that you can't get a good night's sleep. So move it somewhere so that you can't see it, so that you're not worried about it, your mind calms down, and you fall asleep and get a great night's sleep. There is something called banana tea that you can make, where you take the peels of the banana and boil them until a tea is made, and you drink that before you go to bed. And I don't, I, I have no problem sleeping, but I understand why it's really important. And I understand if you drink the banana tea, you might even put a drop of stevia in it, but if you drink the banana tea, it will help you fall asleep. The next suggestion I got from a sleep symposium that I watched by the functional community where they recommended that you take magnolia bark, which you can buy from Amazon. So if you're not getting your seven hours every night, try a little magnolia bark and follow the directions on the bottle. Make sure you have adequate magnesium in your body and it should be preferably magnesium malate because your body can utilize that uh, the best. We have 350 enzyme reactions that are depending upon magnesium. And if you want to get a good night's sleep, it's really important that you have adequate magnesium in your body for that too. And it helps keep you regular. So magnesium is a good thing all the way around. An hour before you go to bed, put on amber sunglasses. They'll cut out all the blue rays so that your body can start to shut down because it knows it's nighttime. Because if you're looking at the bright lights of the computer screen or the bright lights of your living room or the bright lights of your television, your brain thinks that it's daytime and it's not. So if you're having a problem getting seven good hours of sleep, wear amber sunglasses, which tells your body it's nighttime and allows it to start shutting down. Lower your body temperature. I turn the heat off. Now, I'm in California, so when I say that, understand the lowest that my house will get at night is maybe 65, but you want to get your house down to a lower temperature while you're sleeping because it's good for your body to lower your body temperature, and that induces a great night's sleep. The breathing exercises that we just went through will help you relax or use the Dr. Andrew Weil 478 breathing exercise from my first tape of the season on stress busters. Use relaxation practices, which means guided imagery, meditation, deep breathing. I like to do an exercise, don't laugh, where I take light in and out of my chakras and clean them all out all the way down my body. This one goes both directions, then your heart, then your solar plexus. I clean out all my chakras, and when I get down to my root chakra, I shoot light down to the center and the core of the earth until it hits that bright orange ball, and then I bring the light back up through my body and have it shower over my body, and by the time I'm doing that, I'm sound asleep. Works like a charm for me if I'm having a problem. And then if you're still having a problem getting sleep, what's recommended is that you find a professional who can take you through cognitive 
um, behavioral therapy because sleep is so important. It's worth it to learn some techniques to make sure that you get a solid seven hours of sleep every night. So those are my holiday stress busters, number 10 and number 11. Turn in tomorrow night and I will do stress buster number 12. Thank you so much for watching these. Don't forget that I'm a health coach. I am a health coach. And how can I help you? Are you ready to change whatever patterns are interrupting your health? Because a health coach, like what I'm trained to do, can help you reduce your inflammation, lower your pain, uh, improve your body if you're struggling with cancer. We can help you do all kinds of things. And because I got very sick with autoimmune disease myself, what I can lead you to do and make decisions to do for yourself are things that I know work because they worked for me and I no longer have pain. So. Are you ready to change your health? Let's talk and get together in 2019 so that you can be everything that you were meant to be. Thank you so much. I'll be back tomorrow night, so tune in again. Cheryl M. Health News. Go to my website, loaded with all kinds of great information. Have a great evening and happy holidays. Ho, ho, ho.